whichever mistake you make, however you react to them, your parents are your best friends. They might be boring, silly or stern at times. Maybe some of you are embarrassed of yours. I know my kids are of me. But if ever any of you are in trouble, of any kind, the best friends you can always trust to watch your backs are your parents. They will always come good. I lost my parents very early in my life and I miss them dearly. So all of you who still have yours, don't listen to them, fool them if you must. A bit of lying is also welcome. But make sure you cherish what you have because when you don't have them, like me, you really miss someone to be rude to. Someone to you can, someone you can take for granted. Someone to say and do whatever you wish with. You miss the comfort of being loved unconditionally. I call parents unconditional and forgiving punching bags. Who feel happiest when they get bashed up by the kids. If you want to survive life, it's best to begin to respect the gift of love right now. As children, your first teachers of this acceptance are your parents. If you are unable to accept the love they give you, in whatever form it arrives, even if it's in the form of a tight slap across your faces, <laughs> then when you become a parent, you will end up having to learn this lesson somewhat more harshly from teachers you give birth to. Those are your kids. And learning Kama Sutra from my son is not a great idea. <laughs> Incidentally, he studies in the school that Isha's mom runs in India. I have to say, ma'am, your syllabus is quite different from the one I used to see. When I was. She, is, she is insisting that she will get Kama Sutra in Yale also very soon. And the last bit, a fiendish friend called failure. 